Hi Pisces, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. By the way, happy birthday. We are in a wonderful season here for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at what March. Uh, oh, look at this, the March energy that is coming in your direction. Jeez, we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, victorious energy popping in here for you, Pisces. Okay, I, don't, I didn't even have to shuffle that much. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers and we'll pull out an Oracle energy for you as well. So let's go ahead and um, put this aside. Wow, I really like this energy coming in. Okay, first in the center in the heart space pisces we're looking at wheel of fortune okay we are seeing good luck is on your side i'm not surprised because i mean we are looking at your <laughs> celebratory month but we also see things are going to be changing for the better we see there's a turning point in your path there's something changing where it's going to affect you in a positive way and the wheels are certainly spinning now, um, right here, as we look at your starting energy, the Page of Cups is coming in here. So I see some of you Pisces are going to be falling in love, coming across a love interest. Some of you are going to be loving what you do or um, loving what you're going to find yourself put in, like the situation that you are um, put in. We'll get some clarifiers here, but the Page of Cups also expands on uh, unexpected news or unexpected surprise um, also some type of communication so we do see that coming up here especially if it has to do with maybe some type of progress that you were waiting on um, that could be popping up in your upcoming days especially when we look at March. By the way, Pisces, this is just a general energy for the month at a view. I'm going to do a weekly breakdown for you. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so that way you get the updates, okay? Now, as your supporting energy, we are looking at, ooh, the powerful Ace of Swords. Hmm. Pisces, this is going to be a fun month because we see there are new ideas coming across your path, but also major successes and breakthroughs, okay? This is also confirming some type of major life transition that you may be experiencing or also some type of truth that you're going to be seeing or recognizing or some type of truth being um, shed onto you into your path. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, this energy is showing in your... Um, in your mind space some of you may have money on your mind some of you may have um ideas of what can bring you closer to the abundance or to the the richness that you're looking to experience or that you are looking to seek in this particular season the nine of pentacles though here for you pisces is showing that you are going to come across especially with the supporting energy of the ace of swords it's showing that you're going to come across a solution a way or an opportunity where you're going to be taken care of you're going to be pampered or you're going to be treated very very well okay i see the nine of pentacles too as some type of luxurious um like a luxurious experience maybe you're being taken out to like a fine dine you know restaurant or you are someone maybe purchased some <laughs> first class tickets or you're being upgraded in your hotel room or you are given like a very nice outfits handbag you know some type of accessory the nine of pentacles this energy here pisces she represents attracting the best and finer things in life without having to beg or seek for it okay it comes to her opportunities come comes to her you know um, abundance comes to her and not only does it come but it multiplies and it um, extends so we could also see that you are coming across richer friends um, in a sense of you know loyalty um, common interest you know richness in that way not like materialistically uh, so we'll get some clarifiers for you though when we take at when we take a look at the nine of uh, pentacles so now we're also looking at the six of pentacles as your near future outcome. This to me and for you, Pisces, is showing a karmic cycle. And I'm not surprised as it is aligning with the wheel of fortune. So in this month of March, it's almost showing that you are getting what you deserve, Pisces. You are getting back the energy and the, the effort that you had at once 
or at one point put out. Maybe some of you Pisceans have put in a lot of time, energy in your job, in your business, in relationships. Um, you know, maybe you have been helping others. Some of you have been putting a lot of time, sweat, tears in um, an area in your life that you are passionate about. And you are seeing the rewards of your generosity being paid out in this month. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers here for you, Pisces, as we break this down. Okay, we'll get some clarifiers. And again, I do the monthly breakdown each week. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for that. Pisces, Pisces. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers for Pisces. High Priestess. How do you know the High Priest? I had a feeling the High Priestess was going to come up here. Wow, a lot of major arcana cards. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at this. Just as I was going to say, I, <laughs> I was going to say, I wonder if the last card is going to be a major arcana. And sure enough, look, it is. <laughs> This is crazy, Pisces. I mean, I'm not surprised though. Look, this whole row, even when we look at your main focus energy, the Wheel of Fortune, this whole row is major arcanas. So that definitely confirms that you are going to be experiencing powerful energies in this month. Not only powerful energies, but powerful changes, okay? And you're going to be going through some um, serious, um, you know, experiences that will affect and shape your path ahead so let's go ahead and expand on these energies when we look at the page of cups the expanding and clarifying energy is the high priestess so this is also showing that there have been things in the works maybe that you weren't able to see before cl see clearly maybe um you weren't able to see how a particular area in your life was going to full, um, unfold or how it was going to reveal itself. But we see again with the page of cups, this surprise is going to, um, it's going to catch you off guard, but it's going to be a pleasant one. Now that also the, the high priestess here for you, Pisces is showing that there may be someone <laughs> <laughs> that has a crush on you okay someone may have a crush on you someone may um have you know they have liked you or they have admired you for some time um and now their feelings are being revealed okay now they are confessing their love or they are po possibly proposing like a date or asking for your number or um you know wanting to take things a little bit further than where it's at right now now, for those that are in a relationship, a happy relationship, or some of you that are not even looking for love, this still pertains to you, Pisces, because there's something that you didn't expect that is going to um, come out in these upcoming weeks in, in, um, in the form of communication, okay? So if you are... Um, now, the Page of Cups, again, I'll do the weekly breakdown, but it's it's something that you possibly already dabbled in or a space that you had already um, maybe piqued your interest and we see communication coming across your path. And I'll give you an example, Pisces. Maybe some of you were... Um, looking to travel okay maybe some of you were researching travel destinations or where to go on your next you know vacation and we see an opportunity popping up here maybe tickets go on sale and you get like an email alert that the ticket <laughs> price reduced or maybe um you know that certain destination or that country is open now where you can go travel right it's like something was hidden at one point or you couldn't again see the full effects and you couldn't see how maybe this was going to be possible or it was just not i don't want to say it was ghosting you but it just wasn't even in your <laughs> in your um vision you know your peripheral vision you're like you couldn't even see how this was going to come about but it does or maybe some of you had applied for a job and you haven't heard from them in you know two three weeks two three months and then all of a sudden out of the blue okay literally like out of the blue out of the darkness you get an email from the recruiter or a phone call 
you get an update. Maybe some of you were looking to buy a house and now your realtor is saying, hey, by the way, this house is on the market or it came back on the market, okay? So that's kind of an example here, Pisces, that some of you are going to be um, experiencing this energy in March of 2022. Now look, we see the Nine of Pentacles coming in here. The clarifying energy is the hangman. So surrender, surrendering to the universe's changes and blessings pisces because you are meant to receive also i see that a lot of you are going to have a shift in the way you view the world the way you view your life and possibly the way that you see um, your current situation some of you are realizing that you are worth more you deserve more you also hold more value so when it comes to as the nine of pentacles is aligning with the ace of swords too for some of you if you are in the job market some of you are not settling for less okay you're realizing, wait a minute, <laughs> I deserve X amount, okay? I'm not going to settle for less. Um, or when it comes to relationships or friendships, you're realizing you want ha high value people around you. You want people that have goals, that have motivation, that have um, dreams of, you know, a, a greater successful path. You want people that are driven. Mm, you want to be surrounded by things that inspire you, whether it's beautiful art, whether it's just beauty, nature. So Pisces, I do see that some of you are realizing that the finer things in life are within your reach and you are worthy and deserving of it. Again, I feel like in March too, a lot of you are going to be you know, uh, taken care of, pampered. You're going to be treated almost like royalty. You know, you're going to be treated very, very well. So whether that is you... Um, again, speaking up to your truth and asking for more when it comes to monetary value or when it comes to you demanding, um, you know, just um, speaking like better quality in your life. Maybe you are all about better quality clothes or just better um, surroundings in an environment. Maybe you want to move and relocate in a better environment. Again, this shift in perspective with the hangman Pisces, it's showing that in March, you're really going to focus on the finer experiences in your life. Deservingly so, okay? And some of you are at a point in your life too where you've worked so hard, you deserve it. Now, the Ace of Swords, we are expanding here with the Hierophant. <laughs> I really like this energy because it is showing something is going to be, um, you know, officially marked yours, officially yours. Um, you are getting the keys to something. You are getting the go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You are getting the green light. Um, you are getting something approved, okay? So the Ace of Swords, some of you may have this idea that you want to start or something that you want to expand on and you are making it official or you are announcing it officially yours like i'm officially starting my business i'm officially starting a product i'm officially um you know in this new role some of you may be signing a contract here too as we look at the higher fence because it is um also expanding on recognition you are being recognized as something okay recognized as the owner of this new house this new car you are being recognized as this new boss um so there's a new title basically that is going to be kind of solidifying this new part in your path pisces so look out for that i really like the ace of swords though because with this new breakthrough um, combined with the higher fans. I mean, we see the keys here. So you are given the keys. It's like the universe is opening up this new chapter in your life where you are taking up and accepting this challenge towards this calling. Some of you are going to be um, led or felt called to do something you know, in an honorary way, like, oh, you know, I'm meant to be a teacher. I'm meant to be um, a mentor or a coach. Some of you may, this is your calling to start your business or launch that product or help people be of service in some way. Okay. Because again, the sort of energy sh shifts into your new way of thinking. And then as we look at the world card coming in here, didn't I say karmic cycle? Look at this. The world represents something coming full circle. So we could see too love you know you are attracting the, the the right partner that completes you know you as a whole i mean we don't really need people to complete us but you know what i mean it's like the one and the one equals the two so you are meeting like your your other half also the world is showing that you may be 
coming across the perfect match for you in terms of career or lifestyle or a financial situation where it balances out you have a great work-life balance you have um, a great balance with you know your mental health and your physical space too you're not overworked you're not underpaid it's like this right balance also when we look at the world card next to the the wheel of fortune too because that's your main energy some of you also may be in a situation where you can travel okay you're going to be finding your, yourself traveling um or discussions of traveling or plans of traveling coming coming through again with the six of pentacles it may be for work but i feel like someone may be giving you an opportunity to travel so look out for that maybe your spouse is going to bring it up and some of you have been working hard you know maybe you've been applying extra money in your savings account or maybe you've been putting in extra work you know at the job or um Maybe, you know, you extended a favor to a friend and in return, they give you free tickets to something. So that's coming up as well. Now, speaking of travel, look at this, look at this reflection or not this reflection, this image here, reflecting back on this Oracle card. Oh my gosh, look, this card is saying explore Pisces, trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek. And then this other energy start, you must start from where you are, examine your situation and take a chance explore and start some of you may be finding yourself again with this new news coming in here it could be news of you know an opportunity that's opening up doors are opening up maybe a, a particular place is opening up in terms of country maybe new city new state um yeah i definitely feel like like i said earlier the gateways are opening up here for you pisces to move and where you are going it's going to be better for your path you're going to be living comfortably um some of you too especially when we look at new possibly job opportunities or career opportunities you may be seeing that you are given you know more money in turn you can provide better care for yourself so we will again break through um, the each weeks and expand on them for March in the upcoming days. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more Pisces. But wow, March, March, March is going to be very, very, um, it's going to be very powerful for you as we look at all these power <laughs> cards showing up and with the Ace of Swords. Okay, so you are gaining control of your path but also with that control comes power so you are going to be in a situation of power where you can ask for more um you know demand more and also receiving that hmm okay so until then pisces i'll see you in the next one stay well and be blessed